incredible. He got second at Xeno this week. And Light is probably the biggest boss to come and invade his home maybe ever. And he wants the chance to prove himself. Light, on the other hand, I mean, Light is Light. He, we all know the kind of things this man can do. He is a absolutely top-level player in the world. And as we move into this game one, they're going to be feeling each other out just a little bit, but every tiny little missed feeling is going to lead to huge amounts of damage. I mean, look at this already. Every time they hit one another, it's just a brutal slobber knocker. <gasps> that was massive. Gets the... Th oh, okay. He had the air dodge read, but not quite enough to actually punish it. These tiny neutral airs coming out from light are actually going to be a big game changer. Quid was not ready for them. Ivysaurus has kind of slower aerials. And just like that, and a taunt to boot. Light is feeling himself right now, and he knows that this kid is young. Maybe he can psych him out, you know? Like, you just... Oh, no, but he isn't. Quid, you can't psych Quid. His head is in the game all the time. And now, now he gets one hit. He opts for a back throw. I think that that speaks a lot right there. The fact that given the opportunity, I mean, I'm pretty sure Squirtle has some pretty nutty combos on Fox at low percent. So the fact he would go for a back throw, maybe trying to look for some kind of edge guard of some kind. The shine stall kind of being anticipated by Quid. At the very least, he's able to keep these da this combo going. The damage racking up. Okay. Now they're neck and neck and percent. This is okay, so Quid, his favorite, you know, his most notable of the three Pokemon is that Ivysaur. But this is kind of Ivysaur's, like Ivysaur is maybe the weakest of the three of them against Fox specifically. The fact that Fox is so fast that he's just got this blistering speed that can go through and whatever Ivysaur is trying to do, he shuts it down. What a wait. Look at that empty hop. He was like, yeah, I know you're either going to Elodarch or you're basically going to use Elodarch number two, which is just to... Uh, you know, switch out in that position. So, just good awareness from Light. Yeah, but Quid keeping this very even. 126% on Light. Late hit dash attack. Has the great idea. Uses the back air as the most active hitbox. Almost has the Grazing Leaf Convolution, but just a little bit outside that blue sack window. That was maybe a little bit of nerves right there. He went for that up B when there was no way that that up B was going to connect at this percent. What a mix up. Quid is just making it so difficult. We'd like to keep him onto the corner. He has to go for the tech chase, anticipating maybe a tech in place. All right, this is the sort of thing where looking at the way Quid's playing, I think he is maybe psyched down just a little bit. He's making some mistakes that normally you wouldn't see him be no. making. And I, I'm reminded of earlier this week, I had mentioned how Quid got second at, uh, at Xeno. Uh, and if you watch that set, it was against Tilde, who is, I would, you know, also plays a space animal and is also kind of similar in that he can be very overwhelming. And Quid, you know, being in that very high stakes setting of Xeno, kind of folded a little bit. You know, he did, he was still, you know, put him, kept himself even. Yeah. But nonetheless, he kind of crumpled under that kind of aggressive pressure. And Light is sort of the paragon of that, <laughs> of that force. So. He is going to need to steal his nerves immediately. Otherwise, this sort of thing can just turn into a snowball avalanche where light can... I, like, if, if, if Quid doesn't, like, fix his mentality right now, it will be a 3-0 sweep. Yeah. Light... Light, light is light. I think, I think there is no better way to put it other than that. He's such a phenomenal player. He just I think I literally so said well. that earlier. I'm not sure if you oh, were listening. I, I was not. <laughs> I, 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 I'm so sorry. I don't think I was going to Don't, don't apologize. He's great minds, you know. <laughs> great minds think alike. Uh, but just like that, Quid has light offstage. Love the fact that he commits to go for like a two frame down tilt because even if he whips it, he has enough time to get out there and punish side B. Now, one thing we didn't see last game from Quid was any kind of significant edge guard. You know, that Fox is a character that historically always is kind of the weakest part of his entire game plan is what happens once he gets Dude, put off stage. Dude, his recovery, exploitable, and linear. But Light is just making the most out of it. He's holding on to his double jump until just the best possible time. And he's making it as difficult for Quid just to be able to land a hit on him. Did you see that high recovery coming? I sure didn't. I thought he was going to go to ledge. Well, the thing is that Quid did push him off with the uh, with the water gun, but immediately came down with that aggressive option. And the forward 
here. Like, when you see a fox facing forward, you don't often think, oh, this is a character that's going to throw out a hitbox. But Light, knowing that th he's, he's throwing out those How unconventional get off moves. Look at, look at Light's mix-ups at the ledge. Every single time that he empty ops and neutralizes, everybody going to do Sans UW Salute. I'm not trying to get up attack this. And once again, <laughs> Light with these kill conversions. Man, he's nasty. He knows he's nasty. Man, Light just made eye contact with me for that. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at the he looked at the commentators just like yeah. <laughs> I don't know if he knows that I'm Westchester, but uh, he is making a statement about the caliber of player that he is. You know, Quid's been putting up good results, but he at least right now there is still a power there. Ooh, just that little slip up is gonna give Quid the window that he needs to be able to find that kill. So Ogadi, such a huge lead for Light, a whole stock up and a bit of damage to boot as well. As quit, how do you find this in? It's hard to find the in, and I mean, I feel like the, the path for victory is is clear. You need to put him off stage, you need to get a kill of oh, okay, my. oh my. Oh, that spacing. Oh. I can't believe that side B still connected. That was so good. He's so good. Yeah, quit kind of giving a nod of the head. Like you could see on his face, he's like kind of perplexed of what he even needs to be changing. Yeah. They, like game one was pretty pretty decisive for life, and game two that mm -hmm. gap widened even more. So, <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I know that Quid is planning on traveling around more, especially since we're going to be having some bigger events here on the East Coast. So uh, this is really good practice for yeah. him, at the very least, to try and figure out how he can, you know. Reassert his emotions, you know? Keep himself, you know, in a much more level headed state, even when you're facing down a just a horrifying force like Light. Quid is maybe falling into the trap of trying to press buttons a little bit too safely. It seems like everything he's going for are retreating for a little empty hops in place, but he just Light finds them as openings and knows how to time and space his options just right to be able to get in there. Oh, that imp buffered air dodge is going to be huge. That actually puts might him even... in a nasty position. Gets the lead on the high recovery. Puts him in an awful place, but <gasps> doesn't find that down. That timing was slightly off. Quinn had the right idea. The thing is, it wasn't just the... I think he was expecting a side B. That's why he ran off the stage initially like that. And even though he reacted to the fact that it was a, an up B, he wasn't able to reposition himself in the way at that point. What a footstool. He didn't have a double jump. He used a footstool to be able to get back on. Either way, Light still going to be losing his stock for the first time. Um, being the first one to lose the stock for the first time. Anyways, amazing tracking. Catches Quid sleeping in, in the corner. And he taunts Taboo. Oh, okay, so earlier on, Quinn, when he would grab Fox at zero, would try and throw him off stage, and I like this decision a lot more. He sort of goes for the up throw, gets the guaranteed damage. Oh, he's, like, I think he was a little bit overconfident. That about button was so smart. He knew that Quid wanted to go out there and press the button a little bit too aggressively. But either way, that it's, floater kind of put him in the position to get the down aid. Yeah, it's, it's the sort of thing where you, you won the battle and lost the war. Yeah. Yes, you did win that interaction, but considering that Quid was at such low percent, it didn't even really matter. And okay. Oh, look at Quid's conversions. Look at his option coverage. You're already putting light at 55, 65%. And climbing, yeah. catching that empty landing. Wow. This should be it, yeah. You're Good done. timing. Amazing oh, timing, Castu. So, <laughs> so one of the things that was really different about that game is that he went Squirtle, and then he didn't end up getting it damaged to the point where he felt like he was forced to switch to Ivy Sword. Yep. You know, like he was able to play Squirtle for so much of that game. Squirtle has the ground mobility and the buttons to be able to keep up with Fox. You know who doesn't? Ivy Sword. Ivy Sword ain't got buttons like Squirtle does. Ivy Sword needs space. Ivy Sword wants to get away from you and throw out Razor Leaf. But when you're Squirtle, you can try to keep up with all of those jump-ins, with all of those dash attacks, and the combo game the, uh, uh, of Quid, oh, delicious, optimal. Oh, we're going back to PS2, though. And th I think that the fact that at the beginning of the game, if Quid takes too much damage and he is no longer safe being Squirtle, that's going to be a massive blow to him. Is, uh, wow, I'm surprised that Quid didn't try to, you know, go for more of an aggressive edge guard right there. Might have been an opportunity. I guess he was not confident in the ability to do so. But when you're not confident against Light, he's like, if you can come back to stage for free that's like confidence. this. That kind of an approach is confidence. We're seeing the adaptation for Quid. No longer trying to be, you know, sort of uh, really like not committing to a lot of these four leaders like he was doing before. He was always going through a lot of retreating ones. He was trying to space himself a little too safely. Look at the, look at, look at the way he's playing now. 
Oh, he is playing much better, but at the same time, trapped here at the ledge. Oh, that re-grab is so dangerous. This is the sort of situation where, look at like the way he's jumping up and down, throwing out these empty hops. That trade, but ends up still getting him through the shield, and just like that, Quid is going to be the first one to be able to take that stock. Sticking with Ivy Soil, catching Light being a little bit too antsy to find that kill. That's 44 and climbing. Still has him in a juggle. That should be it. Yes. To go up, smash. So good. The frame advantage on it is busted. Yeah, and it's the sort of thing where uh, against Ivy Sword can kind of be like if, as long as he doesn't have time to up air. You Look at can that chase! Look at that chase! Uh, not able to find the throw follow up, but just amazing recognition from Quid. A little bit too much of vertical drift, uh, and, and Fox is just able to fall out of that. Well, no, that was actually he went for the full hop downer and converted it into a forward air. Like he knew he was gonna fall out. That was like by design. The Quid is going for combos with these characters that I've never seen before because he knows he needs to hit him, hit him with those like DI mix-ups, hit him with the sort of things that he's never seen before because otherwise, like that's what his path to victory is going to be. Oh, and there it is. That's Grizzly Leaf up the in and out Quid with a huge lead right now, a whole stock up. So going back to Squirtle so that he can once again just really compete. Uh, with, with, with light speed and just make it as difficult as possible for him to find those kill conversions on such a tiny character. There is also a bit of a risk with being Squirtle. Yeah, as soon as he got to 80, he's like, I'm not comfortable being Squirtle anymore. He could die to drill up smash, try to die to neutral or up smash, or just like <laughs> so many options that uh, Light has. And despite the fact that Quid had earned a Ooh. really big lead, that lead is gone. The up smash, somehow, like, Quid was so certain he was going to take to the air, and Light was like, no. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Quid once again trying to find that back through, but you know what? Squirtle moves sometimes. You, you fall out of all units. It happens all the time. Light once again has amassed a bit of a lead for himself. Ooh. Quid dropping his shield a little bit too early. Maybe anticipating a jab mix up on shield. Light is not going to go through any of that. Not able to pin him down quite yet as Light crosses him up with another jump. Oh, and look at that. You were right about how Quid needs to be way more confident. That adaptation, he knew that he was throwing out lasers while dashing back and forth. And so he managed to find an opening with the withdraw instead. Right now, these two are going back and forth. That could be huge. Yes, that tech chase and tech rolling in there is so smart. You want to do the same exact thing against Wolf. Even if you eat that <laughs> hidden, is that going to be it? Yes, it is. Quid bringing it to a game five. Teching yeah. in was so smart for Light because he didn't die that time. But it still oh, sent him to the other side of the stage and did set him up for an edge guard. Did you see the smirk on Quid's face right there? He smirked, kind of looked at the camera a little bit. He, I, I thought he was going to crumble. I really did. It's what happened earlier this week in yeah. Xeno. He couldn't keep up. And all of a sudden now, with this best three out of five, he's like, I'm figuring out what I need to do. Yeah. Keep in mind, bringing light to a game five is really impressive, but being able to take an entire set off light, that's that's going to require the extra oomph. And we're going back to PS2. Let's see if we will be able to re repeat the successes, get the reverse 3-0, or whether light is going to live up to his seating and manage to knock Quid into losers. Light has been consistently escaping the corner with a lot of jumps. Quid is just going to have to be a little bit more cognizant of that and try to cover it uh, preemptively. There it is. That's going to be Light's advantage here. Already 72%, forcing Quid into a really nasty landing. Um, yeah, he just needs to find this big opening hit. But he's playing so evasively. He's running away, throwing out lasers. Yeah, the evasion, as you just said, from uh, Light is totally different. <gasps> no, this could be big! Is he dead? <gasps> Yes! A pivotal mistake! Ay, ay. Over and over again, you hear the venue come alive. This is Westchester, this is Quid's home turf, and immediately, oh, this could be even uh. now. Light needed to take that stock immediately. I love the idea to go through the down smash here. That was definitely the guy choice. Just needed to hold on to it a little bit longer. Catching, Light getting back onto the stage. Okay, Quid. Okay. <laughs> okay, that should be it. Yep. yep. All right, gonna be getting the drill up smash, but Quinn with a massive lead. It was kind of gifted to him by Light. I feel like Light still has the right idea, the right approach, and oh. Big damage, but throwing out a button there, even if it's gonna trade, it's gonna give Quid a little bit of time to be able to find his way to get back onto the stage. But look at Light's conversions. <gasps> Quid with the recovery mix up. Light not fully ready for it. Look at this reversal. Oh my, oh buddy. And he gets it. You hear the cheers coming alive. And if you are light, I don't think he's too used to the crowd cheering against him. But this is what happens when you're an invader and you're the hometown hero has a stock up on you. 
Oh, but look at those conversions from Light once again, getting that scoop, that beautiful execution with up tilt into back hit. Light has been hitting those all day, and just like that, has basically effectively evened this up. Quid with the conversion, knocking Light off stage, but that down and away DI is going to be able to bring him to safety. Yeah, Light running away to the other side. He knows to give Quid space when he needs it, and right now the spacing! Look at those empty hops. Quid is just pressuring so much with his positioning. Amazing tracking. Light this could be it! The high recovery, so smart, gets oh. him back to stage! <gasps> Tries to go for the second Razor Leafs to potentially get an up or well, an up beat. Quid does not get it oh. quite yet. This is really scary. Ivy Sword's disadvantage is the worst part about this character. That's the second time he's managed to get a reversal like that. <gasps> Down arrow, up air! No, not able to be the percent range! I thought that was going to be the up smash or the up air, but now Light in a position to get a second up air. Gets, I love that side beat, just gets back to Santu's stage, puts himself into safety. Light oh, is jumping. Oh, this could be huge! That's gonna be, oh. He doesn't get hit by it! Oh, if Light doesn't get this kill now, he's gonna be kicking himself for it later. Oh, we saw the up smash raw coming out before. Considering the jump, there it is again! He just keeps on escaping from the brink of death. Oh. Back throw at the, at the ledge will kill at this point. He's just running up in his shield! Look at this shield. around the platforms. Quid is just spacing himself so safely right now. Not gonna be enough, and he's had to land without a jump. jump. Is that it? He's oh, surviving. Yeah. He's not even. He doesn't even get bothered Tries to, to switch a little to Charizard. Bit. That's not Beautiful enough. Beautiful tomahawk. Yeah, no, no, no. That's just gonna be a bit of damage. Gonna be putting him into a nasty position. And that's it. <laughs> Finds it after all that time. Quid getting the upset. A super last hit. Game five set. Reverse 3-0 defends Westchester for now. Don't forget, oh. Light's being knocked into the loser's bracket. He's going to have to do that again, possibly.